हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू यू वीडियो की हाल चाल है पोस्ट वर्ड आई गोट द इंटायर वीडियो इन टाइ एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड देन आई रियलाइज दैट आई वॉज अकॉर्डिंग डिफरेंस की ऑल टूगेदर सो नो वरीज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू दीडियो इन दिस यू कॉन्स प्रॉब्लम मैग्नेटिक फोर्स बिटवीन टू बॉल्स नाउ इट सिंपली इज स्पर अलर्ट इट इज सिमिलर टू द एग्जिस्टिंग पॉल्स विच वी हैव डन यू कैन गो एंड प्रैक्टिस दोज लिंक इन कमेंट सेक्शन now it simply says that you have to put m balls in n different buckets again you are given the position of those n buckets and number of buckets are for sure more than equal to your balls everything is given in the constraint of the problems number of balls m number of buckets n balls are at least 2 and also less than equal to your number of buckets cool you have to place your m balls in those n buckets such that the distance between two consecutive balls as I, like when i said two consecutive balls i mean the two consecutive buckets where you place the balls that i have to take the minimum distance and that should be as max as possible you have to find that maximum distance out of all those consecutive balls minimum distance for example it simply means that i had in this question three balls 1 2 and 3 let's imagine that i would have placed my three balls as one ball here again forget whatsoever is there just like just remember pink thing one ball here imagining placing one ball here and last ball here so the distance between the consecutive balls here the distance is 2 3 minus 1 here the distance is 7 minus 3 which is 4 take the minimum distance the minimum distance is 2 that is a candidate for this configuration for this configuration of balls okay the distance is 2 remember that fact now it is this another configuration could have been placing a ball here placing a ball here placing a ball here the distance here is 3 the distance here is 3 minimum distance is again a 3 if that is the case the with the minimum distance is 3 you know that you can simply you got a higher you, you got a higher minimum distance and that is your maximum minimum distance possible and this is your answer which is 3 now if you would have gone and asked arin what i will do now i know that i have to grab the maximum distance so i will start off from maximum distance itself which means i will try, again forget about the number of balls imagine that you have to get the maximum distance maximum distance for the given configuration of positions can be what extreme left bucket extreme right bucket now for simplicity let's fix that extreme left bucket is at 1 extreme right bucket i can grab as the maximum position from my array of position array so i've got the extreme right which is the maximum element so the maximum possible distance it can it ideally will be maximum element minus minimum element but in this case For simplicity, we imagine that we can place a dummy bucket, or we can place a bucket at the first location. Again, not a dummy bucket, but okay. For imagining purposes, let's place a bucket at the first location. We have location at the first location, but let's place it. You will get a maximum distance of six. This is a maximum possible distance which you can achieve. Forgetting about the number of balls, forget about them. Now you realized, I know what I will do. I will, I can either try for maximum distance of six. If not. then 5 if not then 4 if not then 3 up till what point up till point for sure you know that you have to place at least two balls and in and we know that the positions are always distinct so bucket locations are always distinct so i will i can place in worst case two balls consecutively thus the minimum distance can be one so i will try for distance of 6 5 4 3 2 and then 1 okay now as i was mentioning i will try for a distance of 6 which means i will try to place my balls like not my balls but i will try to place the balls given the problem m balls greedily again when i say greedily i want that okay i should one thing one 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 condition is i have to for sure for sure have to place six i have to for sure place the balls such that the distance between the between those balls are more than equal to 6 that is a requirement how to place it simple don't think much 
place the first ball at the extreme left location extreme left location is one so first thing to know the extreme left location right location next location you will ha have to sort the positions array because this position array can be jumbled it can be in the very beginning two here then three then one so you have to sort it so so that you know that i'm placing in the extreme left location i'm placing one of the balls now you might ask i and why did not place your ball at the next bucket keeping the first bucket empty that's reason i told you that you your task is now to place a balls considering that this distance is met which means you have to place next ball at, 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 a, at a distance more than equal to six so you want maximum distance so you, you will place the first ball at the extreme left as left as possible okay place it as left as possible then you will go on the number two ask can i place a ball here two minus one is one which is less than equal to your six i can only place a ball considering the distance of the next ball should be imagining this as the previous index previous id you're looking for the next index where you can place a ball next bucket you can place a ball so i can either go i can ask here can i place a ball for sure no two minus one is one less than equal to six nah i three minus one two less than equal to six i four minus one less than less than six i should not go on to these locations because there are no bucket there is there are no bucket so i'll go on directly to this location seven minus one six distance if i place a ball here the distance again with positions of i which is seven to position of previous index which is one i can say that i will get a distance of six which is in bound of my distance so i'll place a ball here now i can place a ball here okay now move on move, move on your index completed so ultimately i will maintain the count of balls i was able to place and i was able to place only two balls I've, i had to place how many balls i had to place three balls i was able to place only two balls that's not a good, good configuration i should go and look for a lesser distance i'll try for a five i'll place extremely I, i'll place the first ball at the extreme left okay next ball here two, like two minus one is not more than equal to five three minus one not more than equal to five four minus one not more than equal to five i cannot even place it i should not even look here ten minus one more than equal to five Still, I could only place two balls. Okay, let's try for lesser distance. Four, one. For sure, place the ball here. Next ball, two minus one, I'm more than equal to four. No, three minus two. Sorry, th my three minus one, more than equal to four. Four minus one, more than equal to four. Five minus one, more than equal to four. Yeah, I can place a ball here. But still, I could only place two balls. Okay, try for lesser distance. So you see, I am. I try. I tried with the maximum distance. Then I am trying for lesser, lesser, lesser. Considering I was not able to meet my balls criteria, not the given balls criteria. So first ball here, two my two uh, two minus one, not more than equal to three. Three minus one, not more than equal to three. Four minus one, ah, more than equal to three. I can place a ball here. Okay, now this becomes your previous index for the next ball which you will place. Again, don't look at these locations. Go to the next index. I. Five seven minus four, because position of previous index will give me four. Positions of I will give me seven, which is more than equal to three. I can place a ball here. So this is the first location where you were again. This is the first maximum distance where you were able to place given number of m balls. You are good to say I got the answer. Now, if you would have gone about this approach for sure, you would have tried for all the distances. we realized in the very beginning itself that the distance maximum distance possible can be maximum element of the array minus minimum element of the array which can be maximum element can be 1 in 9 minimum element can be 1 so i can say if i go about with this approach i will go on to all the possible distances which can be 1 in 9 for every possible distance i will go about on the entire array and i realize that i should skip the unnecessary positions so i will go on to only the indexes in my positions positions array so it will take o of n time to iterate right okay with this if i go about this approach it will be o of n into maximum element for sure if this is 1 e 9 this is this is what this is my 1 e 5 this will give you tle but here is a very good thing which we realized what is that good thing firstly it is wrong then always it is right 
when is this pattern formed this is a binary search pattern so we know that we can simply apply binary search on this distance how i will do it i will simply go on to my mid which is the possible distance if that mid again i will go on to that mid and i'll ask is that distance possible or not as you can see this will say not possible if not possible then try for a lesser try for a lesser distance i'll go on to this too is it possible or not yeah it is possible if it is possible try for a higher distance i'll try for a higher distance is it possible yes if yes try for a higher distance okay higher distance ended so that is by using a binary search you can simply get your answer now coming on that even if you do a binary search on this location that's completely cool but Irene, can you just quickly recap that uh, how will you find the answer for a specific distance which again this distance which you have came on here you came on by using a binary search so this is your mid which is your distance distance you just have to make sure that you can you place how many balls you can place with this distance and when i say with this distance i mean balls at a distance of at least more than equal to this mid so how we will do it first thing we realized we will for sure we will place my first what is the extreme left and this will become my previous index for the next upcoming balls or next ball which should come in again just next ball which should come in i will try i'll go on to my array this is my index i will try two minus one positions of i minus position of previous index is this more than equal to my mid because mid was the distance distance if it is more than equal to my mid i can place a ball here but my mid my distance was a three two minus one is one i wanted it to be three i cannot place a ball here i three minus one two again i cannot place a ball here because i wanted three as a minimum distance four minus one three i can place a ball here okay if i place a ball here this will become now my previous index for the next ball which I will place. Now, again, I will go on to the next candidate of bucket, which is this i, which is 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. If it, this is 3, I can place a ball here. Okay, I'll, I'll place a ball here. So, I maintained the count of ball which I, which I placed. 1, 2, 3. I was able to place 3 balls. And if that count is more than equal to, more than equal to m, my m, I am good to say this distance as a configuration again this distance came out to be from mid that is okay so what i did in the very beginning i told that my count will be one because i will place my first ball at the extreme left location then i will try to place my next ball from that onwards then i will go and check previous position like position of i minus position of previous index if this is more than equal to my mid mid is the distance candidate right now if that's the case i will for sure increase my count and make my previous index as current index and i will keep on trying this process and i will get the count of balls which i can place considering this as a distance if that count is more than equal to m i am good to say and I'm, i should try for a higher distance now or a higher mid now so this is how you will simply go and check this will take off and time because you are iterating on all the elements of the position array cool let's see the code it's exactly same firstly i took my l you can again you can take the l as one because Two buckets can be just consecutive. If they are consecutive, the minimum distance between them can be one. Then you can take your R as maximum element minus minimum element. Or you can take maximum element minus one also. But I took maximum element only. That will also work. Answer by default minus one. But you want to maximize the answer. This answer is the maximum distance possible. So again, standard template of binary search. If you don't know, just go and watch the video. Standard template of binary search. Now I got the mid. I'll check. Is this mid as a distance okay or not? If this is okay, uh, simply update your answer and try for a higher value of distance. Higher value of distance. If not, then try for less value of distance. And ultimately, I can return the answer. Now, this function is okay distance, exact same as what we saw. Initially, I placed a ball. Again, you saw one thing. I sorted the positions also. I told you why. Now, I will place my ball. Like Again, I will place my first ball. At the extreme left location then i will place and i'll say okay this is the previous index i will try look for next balls onwards again checking the distance is more than equal to my mid if that's the case update your count and update your previous index also if the count of balls place is more than equal to m this is a good good configuration if not this is a bad configuration thus 
with this fashion i will be able to achieve my complexity of o of n into log of maximum element or you can see of o of n into log of maximum element minus minimum element that will also work and space will be o of 1 cool i hope you got it if yes then please hit the like button see you in the next video bye